Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode 18 of Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, I'm happy that Appa's back. I don't by any means think that this show is going to slow down in the next three episodes before the end of season two, um, but I'm happy our family is back together and complete. Um, and we can add more people. That is completely fine. If we want Smeller B, Longshot, even Jet, if Jet has survived, I will take it. Um, I'm I'm just happy to have Appa back now. I don't know because the 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 scroll that the Guru sent with Appa. I don't believe that made it to Aang, so I don't know if Aang necessarily knows where Appa was um, and, and what that even says, but I'm wondering if Appa's going to have some residual trauma and, and fear for fire. Um, it wouldn't shock me. And it's funny because I kept saying like, oh, he needs to bite the heads off of all these people. He's a pacifist. Like he's, he grew up with the monks and he's a vegetarian. <laughs> Those are like two things that will not happen with Appa. He will not be biting off people's heads. But if he decided to change his mind, I would forgive him. <laughs> I don't know if I should be putting that out there or not. But all I can say is, is that I love and adore Appa. And I'm happy he's back. And um, he went through quite a lot to be where he is and 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 I hope that he gets all the cabbages and all the bales of hay and all the belly rubs and just all the love everybody was so excited to see him and they were all hugging him and it was fantastic and I was so happy to have him back now of course what led up to that moment because that was the culmination of a lot of episodes and especially the one of Appa's Lost Days and then Lake Lanai Lake Lake Le, 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 Le. Legao, Legai, Leo, something. Oh dear. Well, it wouldn't be me if I didn't forget, right? But, you know, I, I would like to know what happened with Jet. I know that he said that he was okay, and I know Toph said that he's lying. I don't know if that's the end, um, or if we have more Jet that will have him involved. And you know what? I was really hard on him and I feel really bad about that because obviously he's a traumatized kid and obviously he has, um, you know, a, a lot of heaviness in him and he's got a lot of revenge in his heart because of what he's been through and he is just a kid. Um, but I, <laughs> I just, somebody's got to be the bad guy. And uh, when it comes to the kids, him and Azula are, I guess, you know, of the bad guys uh, in my mind, which is not fair. Um, so hopefully he's okay. Hopefully uh, he can rejoin our group and we see him again in the future. Now also with Appa finding his way out, we have Zuko who freed Appa and he did the right thing and he's letting go of the blue spirit. And boy, was Iroh just so powerful in that last episode. You know, he has this thing where he can restart his life by having, you know, his, his own tea shop and he can make tea and sell tea and he can just be in his element because like, that's like the thing that he loves most, you know, besides like, you know, the, the people <laughs> that he cares about most, but you know, like that's the thing that brings him joy. He was willing to eat poison because he was like hoping that it could be tea. Uh, he was willing to risk being saw as a firebender because he wanted hot tea. You know, thank you for everyone pointing that out, that obviously it's the one thing that Uncle Iroh loves so much that he might just risk everything for. And also it might be just very second nature to just go, whoosh. I get it. It didn't matter because no one cared that he was a firebender, but still. <laughs> I mean, like, like it, I was excited for him because, like, he has a new life that he could start. And Zuko was very just, like poo-pooing it. And, and I really like that Uncle Iroh is kind of saying, like, you need to let go of this whole life that somebody else envisioned for you. And you need to let go of this whole life that you envisioned bringing the Avatar home and what that would look like. You have to let it go and you have to figure out who you are now and who this person is. And I think the person that Zuko is becoming, you know, I'm glad it's not happening overnight. I'm glad it's not something that is just easy for him. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that there's a struggle because that's real life. Like that, that is 
very much a real person. And I would love for Zuko to figure out who he is, that he is this honorable man, and that, like, he, he has the whole, like, world in front of him. Now, granted, we still have to, <laughs> we still have the Book of Fire that we're probably going to have to read, and that one's going to be something. Mm. Mm. I'm just, I, I feel like he's, he's the hero of the story where, where Aang, I know, is the avatar. So we already know he is going to be the hero of the story. And I, I don't, again, know how anything ends, but like, you know, they, they don't have a whole series, Avatar the Last Airbender, and then the airbender is annihilated or loses. Like, at least I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this show. I don't know. They could do that. They might, but I do feel like Zuko is the one that's gone through the most change and has become somebody completely different. And while he started here and he ended here, I think uh, what we're going to see is that he's still the same good person that he started out with over here. And when he got here, all of that goodness was brought out by Uncle Iroh and, and by, you know, his interactions with the kids and just seeing the world and learning new things and being around different people and seeing different cultures and societies. I think that he's becoming a very worldly cultured person and it's just, it, it can only make him better. Now, we also saw Azula, Tylee, and Mei fighting Suki and the rest of the Kyoshi warriors. Um, can we get back to that, please? Um, I, I want to know how that ended because we know how strong Azula is. And when, you know, obviously we took out Uncle Iroh and, and Zuko was distracted and I'm like trying to think of everything that like went down, but like we had like really strong benders firing everything they had at Azula and she was able to block it and run away. And especially with Ty Lee, like her just being able to like paralyze and of course may just as you know <laughs> may i love her <laughs> i think you guys are gonna get really sick and tired of me saying how much i love her but i can't help it like she's just <laughs> i feel her on such a soul sister level <laughs> but even with suki like like i just i know that they're capable and i know that they're good warriors and maybe it's a test of of strength and maybe you know it will push them even further to become you know, stronger warriors. Um, but I don't want to lose anybody out of that group. And I especially don't want to lose Suki and I don't want anyone to get hurt, but I can't really picture Azula leaving them all in one piece and depending on how they got away, if they got away. Oh God, I don't even want to think about it, but I do want to think about it because I want it to happen. <laughs> And then uh, I have a note. I have a note up on my TV and it says Jin Fu and Master Yu. So I don't forget their names, but I also know that they're still looking for Toph. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I just look over at their names and I'm just like, incoming. I can feel it. So I think a lot of chaos is going to collide all at one time. Why not? Um, but I, I'm hoping that the end of the season, we actually get to talk to the Earth King instead of the Dai Li and Long Feng. I think Long Feng is the Dai Li? Or Long Feng talks to the Dai Li who is under the Earth King. I'm not quite sure the hierarchy of that. Uh, but either way, um, I would like to talk to the person in charge, please. <laughs> in my strongest Karen voice I could muster. <laughs> I want to talk to the manager. Uh, especially with Appa, you know, just like tossing Long Fang out into the lake. Lake Lao Gai. Lao Gai. Lao Gai. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. See, it does happen to come back. I was just thinking too hard. That's, that's what it was. So guys, I'm super excited to get into this episode. It is just going to be the one for this release, and then the last one will be the last two episodes of season two. And that's just because of how Netflix has put them up on their 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 streaming services just all over the place, numbers-wise. Whatever I say at the beginning does not match what's actually being watched uh, via their, their numbering, so... 
It's a mess. And speaking of Netflix and streaming, remember to support the WGA and SAG-AFTRA. I did get this t-shirt. You can get it at transfigure.com um, and they have uh, a, a nice gray one as well. I really like this one because it's fun, uh, but I have both. So, you know, feel free to go over there and support the writers and the actors, the people that make this content that actually put their blood, sweat, and tears into it. Um, they deserve all the help that we can possibly give them. So feel free. I will link that down below. But guys... Let's get into it. The Earth King! Hell yeah! I don't know if that's good or bad, actually, considering that he might just be a figurehead. I miss you more than you'll ever know, buddy. Oh no. He knows. We escaped from the Dai Li, we got Appa back. We should go to the Earth King now and tell him our plan. Mm -hmm. We're on a roll. Yep. One good hour after weeks of trouble isn't much of a role. We can build on it. If we want to invade the Fire Nation when the eclipse happens, we need the Earth King's support. What makes you think we'll get it? Yeah, true. Things don't usually go that smoothly for our little gang. I know, but I've got a good feeling about this. Okay. This time will be different. Sokka, Long Feng is in control of the city. I think we should just keep flying and leave this horrible place behind us. I'm with sweetness. I've seen enough of bossing, say. And I can't even see! <laughs> There's nothing stopping us from telling the Earth King the truth. See? Aang's with me. It's the whole reason we came here in the first place. Yeah. We have to try. Yep. I guess if the Earth King knew the truth, things could change. Could. Maybe. That's probably the Dai Li searching for us. So? Let's go. Let's fly. Yeah. <laughs> I missed you, buddy! Yeah, I would I would say that too, actually. We have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Long Fang's probably warned the king that we're coming. Why would you assume that? If you ask me, I think we're just gonna sail right in and ah! Oh, Sokka. More coming! Ah! Oh, Appa, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for your hard work. Why did I doubt Ing? Why did it that's just He's amazing. He's amazing. Good job, Aang. <laughs> oh, I missed you, Appa. Come on, Toph. Do something. Good girl. I love watching the difference between her and Aang doing their bending. Sorry. Did Katara just apologize to them? It's just like Toph is like very like like she's moving like very like you know strong, and then Aang is like very floaty, which I mean makes sense. They're throwing rock statues. Nice. Come on, Katara, what are you gonna do? Oh, I love it! She's so powerful. Did she just straighten the stairs? That's amazing! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> boss. She is a boss. Oh my. I love when they do everything together. It's amazing. Which way did the earth wow. Take? How should I know? I'm still voting we leave bossing set. <laughs> the right thing he did letting the avatars bison go free i don't feel right Zuko. what happened I'm trying to think of something that may have happened to him in the last episode i didn't see now that's an impressive door it's gotta go somewhere yeah! 
No. Poor Sokka. He did it. A little warning next time. <laughs> They're here to overthrow you. Nope. No, we're here to help. You invade my palace, lay waste to all my guards, break down my fancy door, and you expect me to trust you? He has a good point. Yeah, but those glasses are stupid. Drop your weapons and stand down. We're friends, your earthiness. Watch out now. Ah! Where's Appa? <laughs> <laughs> Bite off some heads! Sorry, I know that's not his thing. But what if they're vegetarians? Then is it his thing? <laughs> Make sure the Avatar and his friends never see daylight again. You're the Avatar? Uh, no, him. Hey, he's got that bear. Over here. What does it matter, Your Highness? <laughs> they are enemies of the state. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> Though Bosco seems to like him, mm -hmm. I'll hear what he has to say. Good. These hooligans are part of an anarchist cell that my agents have been tracking for weeks. Oh, jeez. You're playing right into your own destruction. I have to trust my advisor. Your advisor, worm tongue. I can prove he's lying. Huh? Longfang said he's never seen a sky bison. Ask him to lift his robe. What? What? I am not disrobing. Sky bison bites. Up a bit him. Never met a sky bison, huh? That happens to be a large birthmark. Mm -mm. Well, I suppose there's no way to prove where those marks came from. Of course there is. <laughs> Yep, that pretty much proves it. <laughs> I love that it was teeth. But it doesn't prove this crazy conspiracy theory. True. Aww. Though, I suppose this matter is worth looking into. Uh, okay. we'll take it. <laughs> they couldn't expect him to blindly just be like, you know what? Yeah, this guy's been duping me the whole time. So this is what a train is like. Oh my god, he's never even been on a train? So you've never been outside the upper ring before? I've never been outside the palace. What? Now that's the way to travel. Yes, agreed. May I ask where we're going? To the Dai Li secret headquarters, where all the brainwashing and conspiring took place. No, oh, it's probably gone or changed. It's okay, still got my positive attitude. <laughs> the Dai Li must have known we were coming and destroyed the evidence. That seems awfully convenient. He's not wrong. This was a waste of time. I'm going back to the palace. There's gotta be another way. The wall! They'll never be able to cover that up in time. If you come with us to the outer wall, we can prove to you that the secret war is real. No Earth King has ever been to the outer wall. Really? I don't have any more time for this nonsense. If you come with us, this time you can ride on Appa. That'd do it. <laughs> First time flying? It's both thrilling and terrifying. She's blind. Oh, yeah. I hate it too. Yeah. Part of me really hopes that what you're telling me about this war isn't true. I wish it wasn't. Is the drill still going to be there or did that get fixed? Into it. Shut your eyes for a while. No! Is he. Zuko, do not listen to the blue dragon. You should get out of here right now. Go! Is he in the spirit world or is this a dream? Sleep now, Fire Lord Zuko. Interesting. Sleep just like mother. Oh! Giant drill made by the Fire Nation to break through your walls. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can't believe I never knew. I can explain this, Your Majesty. Oh, here we go. This is nothing more than a construction project. Perhaps you could explain why there's a Fire Nation insignia on your construction project. Uh-huh. Well, it's imported, of course. You know you can't trust domestic machinery. Surely you don't believe these children instead of your most loyal attendant. Arrest Longfang. Yes! I want him to stand trial for crimes against the Earth Kingdom. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay, cool. You can't arrest me. Looks like Long Fang is long gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been waiting to use that one. I bet. But what about Azula and Suki? All this time, what I thought was a great metropolis was merely a city of fools. And that makes me the king fool. Oh, you didn't know. We're at war. With the Fire Nation. That's why we came to Ba Sing Se, Your Highness. Because we think you can help us end the war. We don't have much time. Aww. A solar eclipse is coming. The sun will be entirely blocked out by the moon, and the firebenders will be helpless. Okay. That's the day we need to invade the Fire Nation. The day of Black Sun. I don't know. It, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. The Fire Nation won't stop until Ba Sing Se falls. You can either sit back and wait for that to happen, or take the offensive and give yourself a fighting chance. I'm so glad Sokka's, like, delivering this. Very well. You have my support. <sighs> Who's I this? apologize for the interruption. We searched Long Feng's office. I think we found something that will interest everybody. There are secret files on everyone in Ba Sing Se. Wow. It's a letter from your mom. Your mom's here in the city. Long Fang intercepted our letters from home? That's just sad. Wow. Fang? This scroll was attached to the horn of your bison. Yes, yes, yes. Dai Li captured it. Is there a letter for me and Sokka by any chance? I'm afraid not. <sighs> But there is an intelligence report that might interest you. A small fleet of water tribe ships? That could be Dad! Protecting the mouth of Chameleon Bay? <laughs> Led by Hakoda? It is Dad! <laughs> I'm so happy for them! You should know this is not a natural sickness. Your critical decision. It was in such conflict with your image of yourself that you are now at war within your own mind and body. Uh, what's that mean? You're about to find out who you are. You are going through a metamorphosis, my nephew. It will not be a pleasant experience. <sighs> There's a man living at the Eastern Air Temple. He says he's a guru. What's a guru? Some kind of poisonous blowfish? <laughs> no, a spiritual expert. He wants to help me take the next step in the Avatar journey. He says he can teach me to control the Avatar state. Is that true? My mom's in the city. And from her letter, it sounds like she finally understands me. Shinfu, Master Yu. I hate to say it, but we have to split up. We just found Appa and got the family back together. Now you want us to separate? Yeah. You have to meet this guru, Aang. If we're going to invade the Fire Nation, you need to be ready. Well, if I'm going to the Eastern Air Temple, Appa and I could drop you off at Chameleon Bay to see your dad. Someone has to stay here with the Earth King and help him plan for the invasion. I guess that's me. Oh. I know how badly you want to help dad. You go to Chameleon Bay. I'll stay here with the king. You are the <laughs> nicest <laughs> ever! Aww. Aww. Easy there, big brother. <laughs> Though you're right, I am. <laughs> I need to tell you something. I've been wanting to say it for a long time. Katara, I... All right, who's ready to get going on a little men-only man trip? Yikes. Aang and Sokka, Ba Sing Se owes you its thanks. Your Majesty, there are three female warriors here to see you. Just three? They're from the island of Kiyoshi. That's Suki! <laughs> the Kiyoshi warriors are a skilled group of fighters. 
Three. They're good friends of ours. Is it a trick? Then we shall welcome them as honored guests. Is it Azula, Ty Lee, and May? Mwah. I'm really gonna miss you guys. Me too. Yeah. Ah! Aww. Right. That's enough. Okay, we love each other. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Oh, where's the scar? Oh, zing. Jeez. Oh my god. It's weird to see a bigger Aang. The Dai Li remains loyal to you. But why when you know a war is gonna happen? Why would you stay loyal to somebody? Mom? Anyone home? Ah. Hey! Who do you think you're dealing with? Yep. One loudmouthed little yep. rat who strayed too far from home. Okay, reveal the three Kyoshi warriors. It is with the highest honor that I welcome our esteemed allies, the Kyoshi warriors. We are the Earth King's humble servants. Yep. Not shocked. <laughs> Can't fool me. Uh, as soon as they said the three, I was like, oh my god, who didn't make it? And then I was like, wait, we know three girls. We know three girls. Uh, I don't know what that means for Suki. And I wasn't shocked that it was Long Feng, or not Long Feng, uh, Jin Fu, Master Gyu. Also not shocked. Um, <laughs> now I'm worried about... I mean, at least Katara is still there, but, like, I wonder if Sokka's father actually is going to be where that intelligence said they were going to be. I don't know if any of it's true. Okay, so the, the guru, okay, so, yeah, that would be a great way to get the Avatar to leave the Earth Kingdom is to give him the scroll from the guru. Yes, okay, but what if, what if Sokka's dad really isn't? What if he isn't really there? Uh, and this whole dream thing that Zuko is going through where, you know, he's... I mean, the way that Iroh put it was that his mind and his body are at war with each other because of the choice he made. That is, I mean, a physical transformation, like inward, <laughs> and an emotional transformation in your head... Uh, that's a lot, and and uh, I'm I'm not quite sure. <laughs> well, I don't I don't. Okay, so I'm confused at some certain aspects of the red and the blue dragon, and obviously one's Azula and one's Iroh, and it's like angel devil kind of thing. But then like, like saying like something about like disappear like mom or go away like mom, and then him thinking that he was the fire lord and i mean i don't know if that was like the future that he had envisioned of him becoming the fire lord kind of like sinking away and then with him seeing himself as the avatar you know or or not as the avatar but like seeing ang in his reflection instead of himself i also don't know if like that means that like that is kind of like a yin and a yang because it very much feels like it um, but I don't think that Aang is the opposite of Zuko. I think that they're, like, traveling in parallel lanes where they're kind of both going through this shift. And they're both experiencing things that make them who they are. And I don't believe that, like, one is good and one is bad if we're going with the yin-yang thing. But, like, um, definitely there, there, there is there's something more to that. I'm very curious how that's going to play out. Um, what Zuko is going to be like at the end of this transformation, what his drive is, and especially because if he's in the Earth Kingdom with Iroh, Katara is there, and and Toph is there, and I would hope that they would be able to free Toph, fight Azula, May, and Tai Lee, find out what happened to the Kyoshi warriors. I mean, I don't think Azula can take on the entire Earth Kingdom, but if she can get the Dai Li behind her, 
then, you know, and, and having Long Fang and maybe even Jin Fu Master Yu, like, like if, if there's more people that can help her, then, you know, she can be super destructive. I don't know if she outright kill the king and then there's no one to take over and then she takes over, like, kind of like what she did at Omashu. <sighs> okay. 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 I'm interested to see how that plays out. I can't, I can't quite figure it out. Um, but I have noticed that Sokka is, uh, going around without his boomerang in the boomerang holder, and I know that it was left in the desert from when they took the saddle off of Appa, so I'm wondering if he's gonna get a new boomerang. Like, if he, like, sees his dad, if his dad is actually where the, the scroll said he was, you know, like, like, could he get a new boomerang from his dad? Oh my god, I hope nothing happens to his dad. I would just be so devastated if something happened to their father. Especially if it's not intelligence. Like, what if it is, like, like a half-truth where it's, like, intelligence, but then it's also, like, he's been captured and, you know, he's been brainwashed or something. Oh, for the love. I, mm, There's so many bad things that could happen. I'm, I'm probably not going to wait to watch the next two episodes. <laughs> I'll probably be wearing the same shirt. Uh, so... So uh, look forward to that, the next reaction, uh, because I don't I don't think I'm, I'm ready to quite let it go. But it's wonderful to have Appa back. It is wonderful having Appa do the things that Appa does, which is just like them going all the way up through to the, the palace and just, you know, Toph, like, like I said, like she was doing like her very like, like, like strong stance. And then, you know, Aang is like very like wishy, wispy, twinkle toesy. And and them working together when they did their their earth bending together it was phenomenal. Um, her being able to like straighten the stairs and then they had like a whole earth lift like it was fantastic. Just everybody was like pulling their weight and and I I, I love that and and I do love that Sokka was kind of leading the charge to tell the Earth King all about the eclipse and the Fire Nation and and like he's. He's such a strong leader when he's not trying to be silly or goofy. He is just very capable. And like, like when he speaks, like, I'm just like, yes. <laughs> and then he makes a dumb joke about Long Fang being Long Gong. No, just dumb. <laughs> but I appreciate him. Okay, so hopefully we're on our way to Sokka and Katara's father. Uh, Eastern Air Temple to learn. I mean, I'm sure Aang just drops him off and then he heads off to the Eastern Air Temple. I'm really interested to see what Aang does about controlling the Avatar state because I trust the Guru. The Guru is really good to Appa. I have no reason to not believe, but the fact that the Dai Li had that scroll, they might have already gotten to the Eastern Air Temple and have done something with the Guru and replaced him with somebody else. I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I feel like there's there's a lot of things that I can't trust in this episode that moving forward are even remotely close to being true. <sighs> but we're getting there. We're getting there to the end of season two. I'm sure I'll be devastated. <laughs> I'm already expecting to cry. I have got a fresh box of tissues ready to go. I am prepared. So guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon. And the next two, if you're watching this on YouTube currently, they will also be on my Patreon, ready to go for you. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. When they said the three Kyoshi Warriors, were you like, oh, I know who that is? Because I was definitely like, oh, somebody didn't make it. And I was like, wait, three? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. When she said, like, my mother really understands me. When Toph is like so happy that she finally feels understood by her mother, I immediately was like, nah, it's those two dudes. <laughs> Jin Fu, Master Yu, it's on the post-it. Uh, yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't trust anything else. Uh, but like, you know, did you guys trust it when you watched it? Or were you like, nah, mm-mm, mm-mm. And I didn't, I, not that I think Long Fang went down too easy, but I feel like, um, it's like a hurdle that he's going to cross and then he's going to get more dangerous. Um, especially if Azula takes control and the Dai Li puts the king somewhere, then I think Long Fang is in charge or at least working with Azula. I want to know what happened to the Kyoshi warriors. Because I, I, I wouldn't put it past Azula to kill. I really wouldn't. Oh, I want to know what happened to Suki. 
But guys, I am going to hop into those next two episodes because I don't think that I will make it <laughs> having to wait <laughs> at all. So catch me over there and I will see ya.